a dying trade lah. Very few Hokkien me restore in, in Singapore no. In my younger days, more restaurants cook this dish. So as long as the Hokkien restaurants keep on disappearing, this dish will go away. Actually, it's quite a simple dish, but Chinese New Year Eve. This dish is a must. I make it a point. I must cook this dish. <laughs> My name is Kwa Chong Hock. I am 92 years old. 91. <laughs> I'm 91 years old. My father is a person who is not very expressive. He's more reticent. He keeps to himself. He's different from other people, very conservative and maybe you can say old-fashioned in his ways. But he definitely loves the family, and which is why he has been cooking for us for over 40 years. Generally, other young boys not interested in cooking. It just came naturally, see. <laughs> I was curious, so I just watched my mother cook. From there, I became interested. Growing up, when I was still in school, I remember my dad would rush home after work. It was like a daily affair, he would cook for the family. I would think it's tiring for anyone to have to work the full day and come home to cook dinners. But I guess it is his love for the family that drives him. It is not something he looks as as tedious. He would just happily do it. When you are interested, you just don't feel tired when you do something which you like to do. I can't talk about style, there's no style at all, <laughs> just simple cooking, I would say. <laughs> Whatever comes to my mind, I just put on the table. <laughs> I would say my family's favourite dish has to be the Hokkien Mee, because it's typical of Hokkien's. The way the noodle is cooked is important. And we braise it right, the texture is very lovely. The ones that we cook at home, we use pork bones. So the stock does make the taste more authentic. There are times when we actually go outside and eat certain foods. We thought it was pretty good and he comes back and he tries to replicate it and he was successful. And that is actually quite surprising. Cooking is to me, it's almost like an art form. You need to have very discerning taste buds and to be able to put it all together and make something delicious out of it. I think that does require some genius and some creativity. In the past, my dad used to do most of the cooking, but of late, I think age is catching up. He's really slowing down quite a bit. It's a laborious job in that sense, when you cook for many people. And even though he loves cooking very much, I think there's a time and a place for everything. And the time has come for him to stop cooking. They all live apart. If I totally don't cook anything, there's no reason for them to come. So uh, make it a point to cook any every dish for them now. There's more chances of getting together. Special occasions, cook special things, uh, we get them together.
Thank you.